Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan and I'd just like to mention if you're a gas engineer you can watch hundreds of my how-to and overview videos in my Bora Pearl library. More about that at the end of the video. We're going to be working on a Worcester 24i RSF. And what we're going to be doing today is changing the pump and the isolation valves. So the isolation valves underneath, it's on the floor and return so what I've been happening it's been leaking from that one and also we're going to replace if one starts to return one and that one's the flow one so to do this job it's a bit of a job um we look downstairs the radiators are not on, in our favor there's no drain off point and the radiators are round top so they don't have the access vent so we can screw drain off in it so it's going to be a bit more difficult but we can manage it so today what's happened because it's been leaking it's dropped the pressure anyway so that's in our favor so that's good and we'll do the remainder of getting any water out of the boiler from underneath here we're going to move the, this panel so that just lifts off so mild if you grab that panel just push it up and it should come off that's it nice and then well, one screw is missing, I'm going to undo that screw there and then this red panel will just fall down towards us. As you can see there's no drain off on this type of boiler, it's a very old one. So we're going to have to use um, the PRV, open that, relieve any pressure and then what we'll do, we'll pump the expansion vessel up to remove any trap water in the boiler. We just pumped it up and the pressure is that's about okay just going to put the panel back up again because it's going to be in our way really so we'll just put that screw back what we're going to do now is undo that connection there and see if any water comes out yeah we've got a bit dripping So we've got our bucket underneath catching the drops. Don't take it right out because we don't want it to cascade. What you can do, lift your bucket up now. And then undo it more. And then you have to go down a bit with your bucket. Let's see. So you can push it. Trying to push it back, you can see it moving, but there's nothing there actually because it'll be coming out of loads, so that's fine. Okay, what we'll do, let's try the one. So, this is the flow one. This type of job is quite difficult really. Depends how the pipe work's been put in. We've got a little bit of play, but it is going to be tight. Next step is we're going to move this white panel. So what this part here on the end of the screwdriver, we're going to undo that nut there. And then behind that, there's a locking nut a bit closer there that's a locking nut so we have to undo that as well so that's why we need to undo this panel because we're going to do it from the bottom so now let's push up the front panel and then underneath pull down that white panel that's it okay so we're going to try and turn that now if you pull that towards you that's it keep going Now we've undone that, we've got a little issue here, you've got this lip here which is stopping you get onto that locking nut properly. So we're going to use the grips and see if we can get on it. 
So you can turn up now. Again, so you see go. you. Yeah. Slipping. Yeah. Very tight. So you can see we're turning the lock and knot is finally gone. All very tight. And now we've got to see what we've got new play to get this thing out. So we'll just have to catch this. This is what's trapped in the boiler. I'm just trying to pull this to the side. So I've got it out, so back and then it should allow the bell to come out like that. So that's the old one. That's a new one. So I'm just gonna do that the reverse. Put it on there. This can be a bit tricky because there's not much room. Super tight. see what's that wire even that wire causes well we need that space <sighs> so there we go we've got it in there I'm going there and then put that locking up back on. I'm going to put the locking nut now. So now we're just tightening this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back, come back. Right, right you know what you was going to do? Come to the front here. I'm able to bend in all this pipe. Oh. So you got to watch. What you doing? And I was just doing the back one. Opposite way. Always got a lot to learn in this job. So new guys out there, this is the type of experience what you need. You need a master with you to guide you. So you don't do mistakes like that. Very costly. So now on for the flow. So we're just gonna undo that nut again. Not up 
to your way to you you're gonna turn it so no 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 your spanner's not tight it's not on right tell you what go back to this one and put it on that one and make sure it's tight on see how wide it is Can you see? Yeah. Because you would have slipped off and hurt yourself. Okay. Also, your spanner wants to be the other way around, that's it. You bought, why did you open it? Right. Don't hold it on the end like that. More. That's it. Both hands, don't hurt yourself. That's it. As I said, this is why you need a mentor. Young guys out there, you need someone like me at your side. What do you say, Miles? Yeah, I agree. Because the um, pipe's so tight to the wall, I'm going to cut it here with my pipe slicer. And I've got this towel here just to catch some water because it's going to run down the pipe. And then we could get the main valve out up there. As you can see, got the pipe slicer on. Have a bit of water coming out in a minute. It's about to come now, so I'm just going to leave that, let it just run down the pipe. Because I want the towel to basically absorb it, really. As you can see, I've cut it now, so I'm going to just put my olive, nut and olive on here. Because I'm going to reconnect it back, obviously. Because I've cut it. Just leave it there for a minute. So up here, can get this out, that's the other one, and then, that's it, put that in there, just put the locking nut on, so I'm just putting that on. tightened this is now tight and this one's tight as well so the next job we're gonna do we're gonna get inside the combustion chamber and change the auto air vent this is the auto air vent we're going to change so we're just gonna grip that bit here and then just turn it out put the new one in so just undoing it now Sure that the black cap of the arse wear vents open and then it's just reverse. So, the next thing we're going to fill up and test. As you can see, the pressure is up and we've got no leaks, all good. Look from here, that's fine. That's fine. So, and auto event's fine as well. So we're just gonna put the cover back on here and then we'll give it a test, turn it on. So we're just putting the screws in now, as you can see, just tightening up and we'll turn on. So we fired up now. What's happened there, just that 
my little override's gone off, so we'll just press that again. So I said, it has fired up, um, pump's running, just gonna run the hot water now, and then just test everything, make sure that's working. As you know, run it in heating for a few minutes, remove any air from the boiler, and then we can run the hot water. So just fired up for hot water. Difficult to see the flame through that window where it's burner is on. So we job done. No leaks. And everyone's happy. So that's the end of today's video. So like I said, you can watch hundreds of my how-to and overview videos. So all you need to do is look in the description below to find out how you can access the Borrow Pair Library today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.